Good morning, it's Mrs. Hostetter. I hope everyone is doing well. As promised, I've come back to read The One and Only Family. If you've been with me on this journey, you know that we read The One and Only Ivan, The One and Only Bob, The One and Only Ruby, and now our final book in the Catherine Applegate One and Only series is The One and Only Family. I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the reading of The One and Only Family. Today we'll read approximately 10 pages. It is a hardcover book. Here is our spine, and on the back, um, might tell you a little bit about it. It actually just kind of gives you some information there, um, some quotes from different um, reviewers. But here is where it tells um, the story um, about what the book is about. Remember, that is called the blurb. I'm gonna take this jacket or sleeve off the book so it'll be easier to hold. And here you can see the book. Here is the title page where the title repeats itself, The One and Only Family. In the beginning, there is a gorilla glossary, which is always fun to read. We're not actually gonna take the time to read that now. We're gonna do that um, as the story unfolds. The first section is called, Hello. I am Ivan. I'm about to become a dad. I'm hoping it's as easy as it looks. And there's Ivan. They do a lot of this explaining because some people just literally find this book somewhere, pick it up and decide to buy it, not realizing it's part of a series. This is the fourth and final book in the series, although we wish there were more. A dad is a dad is a dad. When you get right down to it, how much trouble could a newborn be, really? I mean, they can't talk, they can't run, they just lie there all day, grinny and gassy and drooly. Oh, if you're following along with me, I'm on page four. That said, to be perfectly honest, two-year-olds do worry, do worry me just a little. In my line of work, I get to observe many different creatures. I have a particular interest in gorillas and humans. And I can tell you this with absolute certainty. When it comes to parenting, everyone's in the same boat. Whatever your species, there's no force of nature more terrifying than a toddler tantrum. And if you've ever been witness to this, you know what that's like if you have like a younger brother or sister. The next section or chapter is called Confident. Still, I'm confident I can manage a youngster. You just have to be consistent, apply reason, set boundaries. If I declare that no tantrums are allowed, then no tantrums are allowed. I wish it were only that easy, right? Easy peasy, as my young elephant Ruby likes to say. The next section or chapter is entitled, Where to Find Me. You may have noticed that I am a gorilla. Western lowland, in case you're curious. In, I'm the resident silverback here at Wild World Zoological Park and Sanctuary. Around here, we just call it the park. My address is Sunniest Spot, Outdoor Habitat, Gorilla World. I'm located just down the path from Elephant Odyssey and around the corner from Reptileville. If you pass the gift shop, you've gone too far. Now before times of having maps on our phone, boys and girls, those are the type of directions that we would give. If you've gone past the neighbor's market, um, Myers Market or something, you've gone too far. Turn around and go back. This next section is called Never. There was a time when I never dreamed I'd grow up to be a father. There was a time when I never dreamed I'd grow up to be a silverback. There was a time, I supposed, when I never dreamed I'd grow up at all. If you hear those words or those phrases repeating, hopefully you do remember that's called repetition. If you thought that, give yourself a looking good, looking good. But the years passed and here I am. When time tells a story, surprises are the one thing you can count on. Old names, new names. I used to be Ivan, just Ivan, only Ivan. Soon I will be dad. Big Daddy, my dear canine pal Bob, has started calling me. And in, and in his voice, I hear gentle teasing and the same wonderment that I feel. We've come a long way, Bob and I, a very long way. The next section is called, It's a Long Story. Bob and I met when he was a stray puppy and I was the main attraction at a shabby circus housed in a rundown mall. The Exit 8, Big Top Mall and Video Arcade, it was called. 
conveniently located off I-95, which shows at two, four, and seven. Three shows a day, 365 days a year. They had no days off. We try not to think about that time too much. Our lives are good. We are both loved and that's all that matters. Unprepared. I'd been caged at the mall for over a decade when the silver hair in my back appeared. And maybe you remember a decade is 10 years. It was a shimmering signal from my body unbidden. It shouted that I was ready to care for others, to lead a troop, to take on the world to become, you might say, my father. My hair and my heart were not entirely in agreement, however. Like chin whiskers appearing on a teen, on teen male humans, that particular mark of maturity was a bit premature. As I grew, I failed and I learned. I got lost and found my way. I tried to believe in myself. And on the days when I couldn't, I had friends who believed in me and hopefully boys and girls who've been in my class along my journey with, with, along the journey with each other. You remember that I've told you in class, don't choose what we call fair weather friends. The fair weather friends are just going to be there when times are great. You wanna choose authentic, real friends that will be with you when times are tough, when you need someone to just listen, listen to you or someone to just cry with. Those are the friends you wanna be, choo you wanna choose in life. Those will be your lifelong friends. And oh my, such friends, wise, gentle Stella, an old circus elephant who'd been born in the wild. Ruby, a sweet baby elephant snatched from Africa and shipped overseas, just like my sister and me. Julia, a kind-hearted girl who understood our plight. And of course, the one and only Bob, who slipped into my cage one night and decided that my tummy would make the perfect dog bed. Hopefully you noticed I paused here and there and you're thinking to yourself, I wonder what's there. If you thought to yourself, commas or ellipses, kiss your brain. I've never been happier to hear complaints about my snoring. And we'll stop right there and pick up next time on page 12. I hope you enjoyed my first reading. Enjoy your summer and enjoy being you. Be the best you. Remember, I hope to hear from you this summer. Take care. Bye-bye.